At the beginning of the game, Zhang Ling was considered to be a mid-tier physical DPS who used the Crescent Pike. Is that really true? And shortly thereafter, skyrocketed to be one of the best DPSs in the game and a contender for one of the best characters in the game, not even a year later. As of now, way few people are talking about her, but I think they should because she is still one of the best characters in the game, one of the best value for free to play is, and we're going to talk about why she is this way, how you should build her, and what you can do to get the most out of our best chef from Leeway. Welcome to Jello Impact, where we build and test every single character to help you decide who you want to wish for and build. Zhang Ling is an off-field pyro DPS, and her main role is to do a ton of damage. But because she doesn't have any on-field time requirements, she has incredible synergy with a huge percentage of the cast, and often out-damaging from off-field whatever character is on field doing damage. She can be a little bit demanding, but this can be easily mitigated through artifacts and weapons, so we're gonna go over her build guides and about her teams and just why she is exactly so good. You can't talk about teams for Zhang Ling without talking about the national team. She basically makes the national team what it is, how flexible and how powerful this core team can actually be. You can have Raiden on the last slot, and this makes it Raiden national, incredible single target performance. You can have Super Sucrose for Sucrose National, which is insane AoE performance. This will outperform Raiden in AoE, whereas Raiden will be better in single target. Specifically, groupable AoE for Sucrose. Raiden still will have the edge in ungroupable AoE. And if you put this slot for Kazuha and replace the Hydro slot with Child, you get the Child International team. And this is a contender for the best AoE team in the game. You can also use Ayato. And I think for optimal rotations, you'll want to use Sucrose in the last slot. The national team's main reason for being so strong is the synergy between these two characters and I won't break it down too much because I'm sure a lot of you guys know, Sing Cho provides a ton of, of hydro application and a lot of single target damage. Bennett provides buffing and healing and, and energy for the team. And Zhang Ling is able to take advantage of her unique strength in this team in that her burst can actually snapshot Bennett's buff, meaning that she'll keep, keep the entire attack buff for the whole duration of her burst, even when Bennett's, Bennett's buff expires and when Zhang Ling is off field. Zhang Ling's burst also has the unique property of applying pyro on every single hit, meaning that if you apply enough hydro, every single hit of Zhang Ling's burst can be vaporized, meaning that her damage absolutely skyrockets. All you need to make this work is enough hydro to be applied, and so to do that, either Sing Cho or Child or Ayato, etc. are gonna be all really great choices for that. Our newest variant of the team is Nahida National, which is really good for abysses such as this particular one, where you really want Dendro on the team to make to break certain shields or do certain reactions, and this becomes a little bit of a Burgeon team, kind of a hybrid Burgeon Vaporize type team, and because Zhang Ling is, usually builds a lot of elemental mastery anyways, she has immediate synergy with a Burgeon variant of this team. Burgeon definitely won't be the main focus, it's going to be more of a hodgepodge of reactions, but similarly to Raiden adding extra overloadeds to the team and Zhang Ling proccing them, it'll just contribute to more damage because of the of the elemental master you're putting on the team. For other Zhang Ling teams, Mono Pyro is a really strong option as well. She basically makes Mono Pyro. Her plus Kazuha plus Bennett are the core. And then the final slot is kind of whoever you want to be carried by the rest of the team. So I really like using Dea. Klee is probably the best slot for this. And Jin Yan works as well. But because I really love Dea's design, this team actually performs well and I've been able to clear the Abyss just fine with this team, but it's in a large part to how strong Zhang Ling is and how well she synergizes with the two other strong characters, Bennett and Kazuo on this team. The last team we can talk about is called Funerational or <laughs> Hu Tao International. I don't know. It's not quite an international team because you're not using, it's not quite a national team because you're not using Bennett, but Hu Tao does provide some power energy in between both Yulan and Sing Cho providing a lot of hydro application. Both Hu Tao and Zhang Ling are able to vaporize all of their hits, dealing to a leading to a ton of damage and it's probably Hu Tao's best AoE team for ungroupable enemies. So let's talk about Zhang Ling's strengths and weaknesses. Obviously, she has an incredible amount of off-field damage which is really, really valuable and can't be underestimated. 
Off-field damage is relatively rare in Genshin Impact. Most characters that do a lot of damage do so from on-field. And being off-field makes you incredibly flexible, hence how she has so many great high-tier team options, or even top-tier team options. Because not only can you have your on-field character doing damage, you can have your off-field characters doing damage, and she is uniquely able to capitalize on Bennett's buff. Most characters can only capitalize on a buff like that while they are on-field in Bennett's circle, but she can be off-field and still use using a buff, doing damage when the buff has expired and she's not even on field. She also has great AoE in that her burst has a really, really large range and she has really, really good single target, both just from her raw damage, her synergy with Sing Cho, and the fact that for really large enemies, her burst actually hits them twice as it swings around. So you get pretty, you double dip on her DPS effectively. For weaknesses, a lot of people like to put out, to point out that her reliance on Bennett makes her not as good of a character and i would have to fully disagree with that because although it, it could be considered downside to be that reliant on bennett it's also a huge upside to have that many synergies with bennett because as you can see she still performs pretty well in the hu tout version of the team which does not use bennett but of course she bennett accentuates her strengths even more because of their high degree of synergy and bennett is not the in-demand character that he used to be it used to be that every single character every single team would use bennett and so if you're using bennett with shangling that means you're not using Bennett on the other side but the reality is so many incredible teams have come out since then between Hyper Bloom, Aggravate, and being the strongest new variants, but also old favorites like Freeze still being still being solid, although definitely not as good as it used to be, and character and, and teams like Hu Tao, Yoimiya, Yula, all of these characters not really using Bennett. They can use Bennett, but they don't need to use Bennett. And so Zhang Ling taking up your Bennett team is really not the downside that it used to be. And people talk about her being energy hungry and these kind of things. And my solution to that is build more energy. <laughs> so let's talk about her build. She has a ton of weapon choices that you can go for. The catch will be her premier weapon choice but it is far from the only choice you have to use on her. One of the best part about Zhang Ling is her flexibility and free to play friendliness. That's another one of her pros. You can, you get her for free. You can get her from the Star Glitter shop if you happen to get really unlucky. She she always appears on great banners. She's on the banner right now. And so you'll be able to get her um, incredible Constellation 4 for absolutely free. And her best partners, Sing Cho and Bennett, are also available for free on the Star Glitter shop. So she is the premier free to play friendly team but not just for getting her and her teammates for her weapons as well or running her with Raiden and you want to put Raiden on the catch Zhang Ling can easily use up one of your other slots aside from pretty much all of the five-star weapons that she has incredible synergy with including the the two that are up at the top here and even reasonably good with this one she also works with the wave breakers fin with the favonius Lance, the deathmatch she's even pretty good on the prototype star glitter she's incredible on the dragon's bane the missive wind spear is really great for her her. She has an absurd amount of weapon choices and I recommend first obviously if, if you're using her with other polearm characters like if your Favonius Lance and your catch are taken up and you have a death match going around you can use that and so you can kind of use whatever weapon but the best way to choose her weapon in my opinion is going to be based on your artifacts so for example if you have a really really good elemental mastery sands for example with lots of energy recharge on all of your substats you might go for a more damaging weapon such as the death match although generally you're not going to be able to get away with the deathmatch or with the dragon's ban unless you're using an energy recharge sands but let's say you don't have a lot of energy recharge on your substats then you can go for either the favonius lance which is one of my favorites or with the catch or if you don't have much elemental mastery on her go with the dragon's ban because she works with so many she has so many weapons she has so much flexibility and that will allow you to use your artifacts much more efficiently on your account Speaking of using artifacts much more efficiently, Zhang Ling has incredibly free-to-play friendly and efficient artifacts, both for her main stats and on her substats. So for main stats, obviously the Emblem of Seven Fates is by far her best slot, but it is far from the only viable set that you can use on her. If you haven't gotten around to farming it yet, or if you only have one set and you're using it on your Raiden, for example, she can perform extremely well with different two-piece, two-piece combinations. You can use two-piece elemental mastery, such as Gilded, Flowers of Paradise Lost, or Wanderer's Troop. You can use two-piece attacks like Gladiator Shimanawa. You can use two-piece emblem for that extra ER. And you can 
can even use two please no bless for that elemental burst damage bonus. If you have cracked out substats on one of these and you haven't gotten around to farming an extra set of emblem for her, don't worry about it because she is going to perform incredibly well with a two-piece, two-piece combination. I ran a two-piece, two-piece combination on her for a very long time. For her talents, I do recommend leveling up her burst to a level eight or nine before accounting for whatever constellations you may have. I've just gone to eight because she performs well above what I need her to at level eight, but I probably will take her to level nine eventually. And her skill actually does a bunch of damage. I should definitely have mine higher than level four. Again, I just haven't got around to doing it lately. But back to her artifacts. Let me show you what I mean with how she uses substats really well. Well, this is a feather that would be considered by many to be relatively average or even below average or even unacceptable for some people, right? It's only 28 crit value. But this piece is actually a god tier piece for a character like Zhang Ling because she's using all of its substats really, really well. She's using attack, crit rate, and she really uses elemental mastery very well. So this is an incredible, incredible piece for her. This sands, an elemental mastery sands, again, only 18 crit value, very, very low. Most people would consider this copium, but with that 15% energy recharge, that's a lot of substats going into good stats for her. And because Elemental Mastery Sands is a rare stat and Elemental Mastery is such a good stat for her, this ends up being a great piece for her. Not a top tier piece, but very, very usable and very, very good even though it doesn't look it. And this goblet is probably the best showcase of how well Zheng Ling uses stats because all of these stats are incredibly valuable. It's only a 24, only a 19.4 crit value piece, but it is a perfect piece for Zhang Ling because she's using all of these stats perfectly. That elemental mastery, crit damage, attack, and energy recharge, all extremely valuable roles. And my Zhang Ling performs extremely, extremely well. And again, you can change your build based on the weapons and based on the team that you're using. Using. In terms of how she feels to play, how strong she feels, you don't really play with her much. You basically just make sure you use Bennett's burst first, then funnel his skill into using her burst so that she catches the energy, she snapshots the buff, and you're away to the races. You can attack with your on-field character or swirl or whatever whatever you're doing with the rest of your team. So she's just basically doing a ton of damage off field, but boy, can you feel the damage. She does a ton of damage and you, it's very, very noticeable. So she ends up feeling extremely, extremely strong. Despite that, I know she's a character that a lot of people hesitate to build because of her you know, popularity that with the meta community, people kind of want to go against the grain. And to be honest, I was like that for a really long time too. It was actually not until right before I started my YouTube channel that I decided, okay, I really do have to build Zhang Ling. But what impressed me and what I like about her so much now is that she enables a lot of my favorite characters to perform well. Of course, there's other ways to make Raiden perform well, but there's not a ton of ways to make Dea perform really, really well. And this Mono Pyro Dea team feels amazing to use. It's one of the easiest clears for the Abyss that I have. It's really Unga Bunga, really, really strong and really, really fun. And because of how strong Zhang Ling is, I don't feel like I'm missing out. I don't feel like I'm using a subpar team when I'm running this. And that's a really, really powerful thing. It makes my Dea, although she's contributing less damage to the team than Zhang Ling is, it makes her feel powerful. It makes her the team feel powerful. Same with Raiden. Obviously, Raiden is adding a lot more to this team than Dea is, but it makes my Raiden feel really, really powerful because I'm attacking on field. And again, Raiden is very powerful, right? She has her own really good teams that are that are separate from Zhang Ling. But my point is that by being an off-field damage dealer, it makes it it brings up the value and the fun of your whole team. So even if you don't like her, if she's featured in a team with a character that you really, really like, I would highly recommend you give building her a try anyways. And if I let me indulge you for a moment, let me tell you a bit of a story. Zhang Ling is the character that got me to play Genshin Impact. Yeah, so I owe a huge gratitude to Zhang Ling actually, because this was the trailer that actually got me to download and start playing the game. Not because I really wanted to use her, but because what it, it showed me that the world was so vast and so beautiful, and they really characterized each character. They had their own personality. And Zhang Ling, this character being, you know, being the chef, not, not really wanting to battle, but wanting to go foraging. It's the kind of stuff my wife likes. And my wife, you know, plays the game all the time with me now. And so although I didn't build her for a really long time, she was actually the character that that got this game. This that got me to play this game, which is kind of which is kind of really, really cool. For future prospects, I think Zhang Ling will only get 
better with time, which is really, really crazy to say. The running joke is that every patch is a jangling buff because so many new characters with synergies such as Yulan or weapons, like basically every new five-star polearm, new artifact sets, basically all of them make jangling better, which is crazy. And I, I think there's like an obvious one is an AOE hydro applicator that's really good is obviously going to have huge synergy with Zhang Ling and who knows what the pyro and hydro nations bring if they re ever release a replacement for Zhang Ling in that another off field pyro damage dealer and applicator then you can just use both of them at the same time and it will be a buff for Zhang Ling because they'll provide energy even more off field pyro damage I really don't see anything ever taking this character out of S tier they are absolutely incredible for their overworld and aesthetic uh they're not my she's not my favorite aesthetic I like actually this art a lot better than I like her actually in-game model I think like her hair especially doesn't look doesn't translate as well to the model as it looks pretty good here but I really really like all of her voice lines all the food puns are just so good eat this nice and spicy it's so funny and so good and obviously the lore with Guoba is hilarious for overworld it's really she's kind of hard to use because she's very very energy hun hungry and burst reliant so i would highly recommend using her with another pyro character and using both an energy recharge weapon and an energy recharge sand so favonius lance for example as well as an energy recharge sands to make sure her burst is up much more often than you need it and you should be fine if you want to see how strong jangling is and where i'd put her on a tier list well, then I have the perfect video for you. It's my tier list video right here. It's probably the video I put the most effort into. I basically started this YouTube channel so that I could publish my tier list video because I had put so much time and thought into figuring out which characters are strong. So check it out. Enjoy and bye for now.